Over the past couple of years, our events have become more and more spectacular and bigger and bigger. People will buy a ticket to attend the launch event to hear us unveil a new product. We've been trying to innovate whenever possible. We had the world's first launch event done in VR back in 2015 with the OnePlus 2. We still have a lot of tech enthusiasts who follow OnePlus, and for them, the product launch is the moment in time that they're most excited about. The better we can perform a launch event, the better the product's gonna do. So it's really important for us. As we were preparing the launch for this new product, coronavirus had just started spreading. Then we thought we should have a plan B ready in case it gets really bad and we can't have a real offline event. We didn't know what to do until the whole kind of coronavirus situation uh, happened and uh, that we're forced to, you know, think things even further on how we can still pull out a kick-ass launch. I was discussing with one of the of our guys here in the office and he showed me this AR experience uh, on the table. And I'm like, hell yeah, like this hasn't been done. To do a whole entire product reveal and and the whole, uh, the whole gada boom uh, through the AR. As we started developing this idea, we kind of really fell in love with it. We decided to make this our plan A. We immediately realized that there was a great opportunity to do a world first product launch in augmented reality, which has never been done before to the level that we are doing it. We need to seriously question how we transition experiences to people and how we make experiences come through these machines in the best possible way when we want to bring products to people. We want to give audiences around the world the possibility to have a very cool experience. We will have created the world's first product launch done in AR. So I hope we get a Wikipedia entry for that. I thought, yeah, it's a good project and, and uh, you guys gave a quick intro and I was like, yeah, it's gonna take six, nine months to build it. It's gonna be a lot of work and a lot of fun. And that is when I realized, oh shit, we have to finish it in two months. It's been a bit rough sometimes. I mean, it's been, it's been discussions, it's been fights around. What do you want to tweak on the illustration? Time is so uh, squished. I think we looked at some of the examples of Matthias' screen there. You want to you wanna, you wanna, you wanna tighten it? What direction to take at certain points? You know that we have some border issues when it comes to getting stuff into India. For example, all our AR invites. And yeah, and the whole madness sort of kicked in. How we were going to do this and all the content that needs to be produced. You need to, should have given us at least a year to build this, to be honest. It's heating up. We need to ship, we need to get stuff done, we need to ship, we need to change things, we need to alter the different formats. You can decide this, guys. Yeah. You know, yeah. Victoria and Matthias, you, you decide this. You need to continue to do it right now. The excitement starts actually before the event, receiving an invitation through the post, which is actually interactive as well. When you hold your phone over a physical invitation, the invitation comes to life and the countdown to the actual launch starts from your hands from the cardboard invitation. They're gonna experience this through their, through their phones. So you don't need a 90 minute keynote, you don't need a 60 minute keynote. People already know what a smartphone is and what it does. So just tell them what's different. So that's what we're doing with this event. To just put things in perspective, you have the entire launch, like millions of people, a big theater, cameras, all the sounds and machinery behind it. And now imagine doing all of that on a small phone with the processing power of what? A few gigs, that's about it. The biggest technical challenge that we had at the beginning was obviously how do we portray Carl in the presentation in AR. We found a studio in China. I just mean that like we can, yeah. when we shoot this, we can relax a bit because... Carl was uh, filmed using a green screen. Did somebody change the script? Yeah. And then with some rotoscoping, we've been able to extract the silhouette of Carl and then place it in the 3D AR version of the stage. Hi, I'm Carl from OnePlus. Reducing a longer format into something that's very tight, but still has passion, heart, and brings forward the beauty of our new product. 
footage is only a small part of it. I think the overall AR experience and how it's designed and produced is going to evoke more emotion than the person, because the person is going to be like a tiny thing on the screen just floating around. They'll have the difficult task of fitting it all together in the AR experience. It's been super hard to to coordinate, right? It's been uh, all the time the chicken egg situation where we ask Blip for something and then but they can do that something without us providing something. Fingers crossed it will work. This is the first time anyone has done a complete product launch experience using AR. I guess it's been a world first, right? So we got all the positive that goes with it, but also all the negatives that no one really knows how the fuck to pull this out. Who knows what's going to happen? Nobody's done this before. There might be a ton of tech challenges that we haven't anticipated. We have a launch day today. It's, it's, it's crazy. A lot of stuff happening. A lot of stuff can go wrong. Things will probably go wrong. So what See. do we know then? Okay, this was, a, huh? this was an, an ad that was... Someone has posted it. But hold on, it could be a, a fake just big this way as well. I mean, how would it be a fake with a really with a it can't, it can't be a fake, Chris. It's our KV. The well, India price is out. The only thing that we we have left to launch was the price. And now it's out. It's clear that the campaign has never been off. I mean, on. There's a lot of people that have access to this kind of assets. Yeah. It's hard to determine who made this. Uh, can we check if the copy is the real copy? As in, like, the, the KV it is, that's for sure. If the price now is out, I think right. that whole thing just falls apart. Oh. Man, every lunch, I never get used to it. Hey, hey. Big day today. It's seven months of work and uh, coming to the crescendo. I've done uh, 30 minutes. So. Susie, how are you feeling? You look stressed. I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> so this is it. I mean, we've been uh, working full time since, uh, since January on this. I'm proud of my team. We make a great product. We are setting. One minute. One minute. All right, Jack, can we get an update on this countdown? What are you, what are you saying for us here? Ho, oh, ho, 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 all right, it's happening now. Hi, I'm Carl from OnePlus, and welcome to the world's first product launch in AR. So for the next 20 minutes, we're gonna make history together. That marks the end of the world's first smartphone launch done entirely in AR. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Surprise that everything works. <laughs> in a lot of ways, this project is you're doing something new, doing something different. Maybe the process is tough, maybe it's painful, a lot of hard work, or things are messy, or whatever the case. How the sausage is made is never pretty. But at the end of the day, if we can deliver the results together, and the team feels like they've won together, then I believe looking back on the past you know, half a year, there's a high chance we'll feel like it's all worth it. <laughs>